Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Terry, and I focus on fragrances on this channel. And today, guys, I am coming with you with a very quick, very short life update. It hasn't been that long. It's been um, a little bit less than two months um, since I've been on here. And a lot of people have been asking me, they've been wanting to know, where are you, girl? What's going on? What's the deal? Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I'm going to quickly run through what's been going on, why your girl has been kind of MIA a lot. And um, before I start, I'm going to tell you this. I'm just not like, I'm kind of transparent. Like I'm pretty much transparent when it comes to what's going on with fragrances and things like that. But on this channel, um, because I do want to kind of update you guys and let you know what's going on, because I know some of you do genuinely care. Some of you have hit me up faithfully <laughs> faithfully okay i have built so many relationships with y'all so i know some of you like i said already do know but for the ones who don't know and who may care uh, i was just going to give you a quick update um basically around november of 2020 i heard some news um medical wise that um left me kind of feeling a certain way i found out that i was going to have to have surgery so um, that was like I think towards the end of November, maybe around early December. I'm not sure exactly the time frame to be honest because I was moving so fast, so much was going on. But I know um around Christmas time, you know, I'm trying to make the most of it. Like I was trying to have that time to spend with my family, time to kind of get things situated because I knew I was gonna be having surgery soon. So I was trying to get my kids situated, trying to get life situated, um, because I knew I was gonna be down for a while. So um in January, I ended up having surgery, and the recovery time was expected six to eight weeks um, with what I had going on. And I won't get into what it is because, like I said, I do believe in having your personal, like, there are some things I'm transparent about, and there's some things I don't mind talking about, but for the most part, a lot of people really don't care. <laughs> and I just feel like having something personal, like, some things are just meant for me or my loved ones okay but so again like i said i ended up having surgery in january and my expected um recovery time was six to eight weeks and so i've been at home and um i've been trying to recover at the same time um i actually started online classes guys so i was trying to recover from surgery um taking some classes i my kids are still home they're still virtual learners so i'm still having mommy duties i'm still trying to recover from surgery, still in, like, I'm in class. It's been a lot going on, guys, like a ton. <laughs> but as always, you know, I always figure it out because that's what we do. Women are just super, you know, we're super women. Um, we can do any and everything, and I do believe that. So this is nothing new to me to have a lot on my plate. I've been doing it well, and I've been, um, you know, pretty much handling it, handling it gracefully as I always do. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, back to that so on friday i went to have i hope what i thought was going to be my release you know i was going to be released um i ended up hearing that i had some other issues going on excuse me y'all some other issues going on and i was going to have a, another surgery or i was needing another surgery because like the last week i've been in pain again and I knew something was wrong and you know how you kind of suspect but you're just praying you know you're just hoping for the best well, it didn't happen this time for me. I um, will be needing a, will requiring a second surgery. Um, and that really put me down again. You know, it kind of got me in my mood and in my feelings because I'm just going through a recovery. And anytime you're recovering from surgery, it's the peace, okay? Because you have so many restrictions on what you can do, what you can't do. Um, and I don't like that. You know, I like to be able to move and do what I have to do. But at the same time you have to stop and take care of yourself so it was rough for me because at the end of the day like i said mommy duties don't stop so even though my kids were trying to be as helpful as possible <laughs> it, it's still a lot and my husband was doing his best but it's just a lot so um having to hear that after you know going through this recovery that i may have to do this again really disgusted me like i was in a really bad mood but i decided after that day that I was going to get out of the mood, you know, I was going to just, you know, try to be positive and, you know, handle business like I always do. So with that being said, um, you know, 
I'm waiting around now to see what's gonna be the news. I've been referred to another specialist and we just gonna roll with the punches, y'all. So in the meantime, let me tell y'all something, okay? While I was out, I just wanna shout out so many people. I'm not gonna call people by name, okay? I'm not. But to know and to understand how much I love you is an understatement, okay? There is no words that can express the love that I felt while I was out on recovery, like recovering, okay? When I was out with my surgery, I have so many people that were down with me. And I have, you know what? This has been a very, very good stepping stone, learning lesson, everything. I know who's here for me and I know who's not, okay? So in that same time frame, you know, I've learned people. I've learned motives. I've learned um, <laughs> so much. So I'm very thankful for that. It has really freed me from a lot of stuff that was going on so for the people who are not in my life 2021 farewell for the people who stuck it out with me who love me unconditionally who has been there for me i salute you like y'all don't even know y'all know if y'all rock with me i'm rocking with y'all even harder right like anybody who knows me knows that when i'm on your team i'm on your team <laughs> so um i want to shout out so many content creators that checked on me like religiously were checking on me are you good girl what's going on i miss you i miss your videos to my subbies who were hitting me up like checking on me i had people sending me all kind of goodies y'all i had people like showering me with love like literally every week i had packages coming in i had all type of love like i'm telling you you don't know <laughs> you don't really know who's there for you until you're down okay and when you're down you find out who's there and who's you know who's not going to be basically i found that out i'm thankful for it i love you all and um i appreciate when i tell you i appreciate y'all sticking it out with me i had so many people inboxing me like girl i'm re-watching all your old videos like come on now we need some content we need something <laughs> and i'm like y'all as soon as i get a chance i promise you i'm going to come on here and so that is what I'm doing today because so many people were hitting me up and I was just overwhelmed with the love. I was overwhelmed with the support. It's just so much. So, like I said, some of you knew because I felt like we had a relationship like that where I could tell you like this is what's going on. And some of you, you know, I kind of just because I am private and I have known some people a little longer and years don't make you any closer i'm telling you because a lot of my family youtube family that i've met i have a relationship with them that i have never had with people that's been in my life for years so shout out to all of y'all and uh again i plan on bringing some content to you guys i plan on bringing some videos soon again i just want to thank you all for being patient with me i want to thank you for you know let me feel your light and your love and your prayers because it means the world to me i thought about y'all all the time i wasn't on here much i tried my best to kind of stray away from youtube a minute i try to come in here and there and i watch a few videos so if i haven't been watching your videos or if you hadn't seen me come in or doing things like that it's because i just wasn't in that place to do it i wasn't in that space i wasn't you know i didn't have the opportunity so now i'm trying my best to slowly get back it's not going to be easy like i said i'm in school like all day is a wrap like i try to break free here and there but when i get out of school i still got other things going on it's just a lot so i appreciate those who like i said have the patience with me um and like i said i love you all i again am thankful for you all and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so today because I promise you I love you guys and I will interact with you. I like to talk to you. I like having relationships with my subbies. I don't care about the numbers of subbies. I just want quality <laughs> subs. I want people who are there because they really do enjoy fragrances and they do enjoy me talking about the fragrances. Um, I don't want any negative energy. I don't want nothing but positivity around me. No more of the jealousy, the hatred, the... You know, I don't want anything like that. I just want positive vibes with me. Terry is all about positivity. I'm all about uplift, uplifting women, um, creating a space for women to shine. I don't have time for competition. I don't have time for anything like that at this point. So um, I hope and pray <laughs> that moving forward that this is nothing but 
an outlet for me to clown when I want to clown, for me to be serious when I need to be serious, you know, and just speak about fragrances, which I love. So if that's something you are interested in, then definitely consider um, hitting that subscribe button. Definitely, um, you know, become a part of the family because this is what we are here. We are a family, no matter how big, no matter how small, we are a family. And I love my studies because they have really come through like y'all have come through <laughs> and i can't thank you guys enough and let me get on because i'm going to start rambling about nothing all right so now you know what's going on so if my videos do get sketchy again just know that i may have had to um have that surgery or i've had the surgery i don't want to come on here every time you know something like that is going on just know that you know my consistency was a1 right and now it's kind of shady but like I said, I'm trying to take care of me. I'm trying to put me first. I'm trying to get my health and everything together. But I will. When everything is said and done, Lord willing, you know, I plan on being more consistent. But in the meantime, again, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your love and your support. And I will try to get out a few videos before I go back down. <laughs> I'm so happy to see y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. And until we see each other again, y'all be safe, be blessed, take care, and remember to always be you, authentically you, and don't worry about nobody else. Take care of yourself and stay prayed up, guys. Love you. Mwah.